caught my wife of four years having an affair, possibly physical, last week. I knew something was wrong, and I should have trusted my gut. When I asked a couple weeks ago, she looked me right in the eye and told me everything was fine, but I knew in my gut. She made it clear that she doesn't want to work on our marriage, and that really hurts. Instead, she's talking about starting counseling for herself and expects me to pay for it. She says that I had a role in all this, pointing out that I was working too late and that it wasn't good for her libido, which led, which led to us drifting apart sexually. It just feels like she's shifting the blame onto me, and I'm getting angrier every time she opens her mouth. I've told her that it's all on her. She cheated. It's got nothing to do with my supposed faults. She did it because she could, and she wanted to. The worst part is, she hasn't shed a single tear over it. Not a word of sorry. I'm trying my best to hold it together. I want to know more information about what happened. But it's just so much to even think about it right now. All I know for sure is that my wife was hiding things from me, going behind my back and lying. I need to know the full extent of the affair. Was it just emotional? Was it physical? I don't even know where to begin finding those answers. And it's eaten me up inside. It's so hard to process how someone you thought you knew could keep something like this from you. It's weird to think about moving on without her. When you build a life together, when you make plans and share dreams, it's almost impossible to imagine all that just crumbling in a matter of days. But with all of the lying and deceit, I don't know if there's anything left for us. It's too much to handle. And it's so overwhelming to think about starting over, but maybe that's where I'm headed. If it comes to that, I just want to come out of this whole situation as unscathed as possible. That's all that matters at this point. I'm not going to drive myself to financial ruin because of her. I need to hear from others who've been through this because I feel so lost right now. It's hard to put on a brave face and act like everything's fine when inside I'm falling apart. How do I find out the truth? Does it even matter at this point? Update The last few weeks have been a roller coaster. My soon-to-be ex-wife has admitted a lot to me about what she's done, even said she was sorry. But she was emotionless as she described how she and the AP hooked up, even once in our own home. She's openly dating the AP now, and they're moving into a new apartment together. It feels like she's having a psychotic break. She's ruined her relationship with her parents, her family, and her friends, and she's gained a bad reputation. But she seems completely oblivious. It's as if she thinks all this is normal. I asked her to find a new place to stay until her new apartment's ready. I found out so much about what she's done and lied about, it makes me feel ill. My divorce papers are coming next week. We don't have any assets to split, thank goodness. I keep thinking about how I was ready to put a down payment on her dream home. Something she was pretty insistent about. All the while she was secretly boning another guy. She's shown herself to be a completely conniving person, and there's no real remorse or understanding of the damage she's caused. I just want this to end. I want to be able to rebuild myself and create a new life. My parents are worried about my mental health, and honestly, I am too. How could someone be so cold and callous about everything they're doing? I just don't understand it. Final Update Soon-to-be X moved out to a tiny apartment across town. The place is far too small, even for all her stuff, and she moved alone, crying. Her original plan was to move in with her AP to her dream apartment, but that plan fell through. She came home one day after a date with AP crying, telling me that the AP had ended things. After parading her around town like a cheater and subjecting her to the scrutiny of everyone, of course he discarded her. She was crying full of remorse and said she wanted to stay. But I was done. It was too little, too late. She'd already signed the agreement to waive alimony because she didn't want to deal with me while she was living her dream life with AP. I guess she thought she had it all figured out. But now it's all crumbling around her and there's no going back. I'm continuing to see a therapist and he's been instrumental in guiding me through my own healing. He's helped me understand how all of this happened and allowed me to find some sense in all this. My lawyer has laid out the divorce, and now soon-to-be ex is complaining about the terms she agreed upon. It doesn't matter. Divorce will wrap up soon. She's lost so much, and she continues to make decisions that put her in a bad light. It's honestly exhausting to watch her unravel, but I'm staying out of it. Her problems are no longer my problems. 
and I have no intention of getting involved in the mess she's made of her life. At the end of the day, her actions are no longer my concern. I'm focusing on myself now. I'm trying to rebuild, to find joy and purpose in my life without her. It hadn't been easy, but I feel like I'm starting to make progress. Therapies help me see ways in which I can take control of my life again, and that's exactly what I intend to do. I'm no longer looking to the past, wondering what I could have done differently to save our marriage. The truth is, there was nothing I could have done. She made her choices, and she has to live with them. For now, I'm taking it day by day. Some days are still really hard, and the pain feels fresh all over again. But other days, I can see a future where I'm happy again. I've learned that it's okay to feel anger, sadness, and even pity all at once. What she did was unforgivable, but that doesn't mean I have to carry hatred in my heart forever. I'm letting go of her, of the dreams we had, and focusing on creating new ones for myself. Story 2 I found out that my wife's been cheating on me for two years. I started dating my wife eight years ago when we were in school, and we've been married for four years. It was as close to love at first sight as anything I've experienced. I was ready to ask her to marry me within a month. I waited because I wanted to make sure we both had stable careers set up in the same area so she wouldn't feel pressured to compromise and proposed immediately when we did. We've had some fights and arguments, of course, but minor ones. She was everything that I'd always wanted in a partner. Smart, funny, in tune with me, beautiful. I'm not a very socially outgoing person, but she was my best friend and someone I could always trust to be there for me. If you'd asked me on Thursday, I would have said that the last two years were the best of my life. On Thursday, my wife went out of her way to tell me that she loved me. She was grateful for the life we'd built together and she was excited to start a family with me. She told me that she was planning on spending last weekend on a girl's trip for one of her friend's birthdays. After she left for work on Friday, I went to look at something on her computer, only because it was closer than mine. The first thing on screen was an email with the man she was actually renting the Airbnb with. I looked back at her emails to him, and they went back to April 2017. He had a separate throwaway email account. It looks like she didn't. I've since found that it actually goes back to the previous fall, two years ago. There's nothing actually personally offensive about me, but otherwise, imagine the worst possible set of but otherwise, imagine the worst possible set of disclosures you could find about your partner. That's what you have. Talk about how to sneak into each other's houses to have sex. Extensive coordinating about my and his wife's few trips out of town and how they can use that time with each other. Nude photos, extensive discussion of everything they're going to do to each other during their lunch break with a heavy bondage twist. You get the idea. I spent the morning freaking out as everything I thought I knew in my world came crashing down. She came home early because she had to leave for her trip. I showed her the computer screen, told her I was leaving, that I didn't think there was any way to fix this, and that I couldn't talk about it then. She broke down and begged me not to leave, and tried to step in front of my car as I was backing out of the driveway. I've always gotten a bad vibe from this guy, and been sort of jealous of him, something that I criticized myself for since it was so irrational. After some internal debate, I told his wife, because I decided I would have wanted her to do that in the reverse situation. She was also stunned, but told me that she'd also had a subjective suspicion. I spent the weekend with my friends, who've been unbelievably and humblingly supportive. On Saturday, I got a call from the hospital. My wife checked herself into the psych ward because she was contemplating suicide at the thought of my leaving her. I went to visit her yesterday, and she begged me to take her back. She also lied to me again. She said that her friends didn't know until Friday. I've talked to one of her friends who knew the whole time. I want my life back. I want a friend, a partner, and confidant. And I want to start a family. I thought she was the perfect person in the world to do that with. I genuinely can't imagine trying to start over with someone else. My wife says she'll do anything to make this work. But what can she possibly do? How can I ever trust her again when she's willing to do this to me for two years and lie about it? How can I ever hold her or kiss her or sit across from her at dinner without thinking about what I know? Your wife cheated on you for two years, man. That's not a mistake. That's a lifestyle. It wasn't one bad night. It was a calculated choice she made over and over again. She planned, she lied, and she put your health and sanity on the line without hesitation. No amount of crying or begging now changes that. 
What you've got to realize is that she's scared of losing the security you provide, not of losing you. She's checked herself into a psych ward and even tried stepping in front of your car. These are desperate moves, and it's easy to confuse them with love. But the truth is, if she loved you the way you deserve to be loved, she wouldn't have hurt you like this. It's manipulation, plain and simple. She wants control of this situation, but you need to take that control back. You want your old life back. That's natural, but that life doesn't exist anymore because it was based on lies. You're going to have to let go of that version of her you thought you knew. Start thinking about what you need now. Stability, respect, and space to heal. If you let her back in, you're just asking for more heartbreak. And honestly, you deserve more than that. You may not feel like it, but you're lucky in a way. You found out now and can make a clean break. No kids, no bigger entanglements. It's just you and you can rebuild. It's time to lean on your friends, talk to a lawyer, and find a therapist to help you navigate this mess. You're going to be okay, but you need to be decisive. Draw the line and protect your future.